zodiac crest. So you're addressing some of the upper fibers of gluteus medius. But as you continue down, my direction is right towards the ischial tuberosity, which is the common point of attachment of all the hamstrings. So, and the line of energy comes right through the, into the hamstring. So mm -hmm. I'm going to be putting in just below uh, the iliac crest. I'm in between uh, the uh, lateral border of the sacrum and the greater trochanter of the femur, just leaning in. And, you know, we're going through some thick muscles, so, you know, you want to lean in and just keep uh, constant pressure until you feel some open so that you can move forward. You know, you keep your stance open, line coming here. Uh, again, when you're standing, you should feel all the most of the weight on your back foot, right? If you feel it on your front foot, you're pushing and you're straining your joint. But if you're, you have most of the weight on the back foot, your weight is, uh, your body weight is really coming into play to help with the contact. And now we're just going to address uh, hamstrings. Now some people, uh, if they feel more comfortable, they can use the flat of their fist and go like this. Because we're coming right from the issue of tuberosity right to the center of the popliteal crease. Okay. So you can, if this is more comfortable for you, it's the same thing though. I mean, it's one continuous line here, like this. Uh, for this, I have a tendency to do this. Sink in like this. I feel like I can utilize my body weight a little bit more. Plus, I get to sit down, which is awesome. <laughs> Need a little break here in the middle to work there. The pressure's okay. It's a broader surface, so that you can really address the tissue a little bit. And you know, that speed, I mean, I watch people work and they're going like this. You know, it's a little bit too quick and it reminds me like maybe they're not sinking in. Because what you're trying to do is you sink into the body until you feel some resistance and then sort of stay at that level and then you move forward, right? So you're taking up the slack that the body's giving you. I mean, if you press in and it keeps on letting you go down, go down with it. But if you're pressing in, it's like, then that's where you stay. You don't want to force the issue. Again, the body then can will take the pressure on a little bit more level. It's like if you're talking to someone and you start getting too personal right away there, pull back. Yeah. But if you, it's an easy conversation, then people relax a little bit more, a little bit more, they let you in, so all the same. So right to the, uh, the knee. Now, here, um, for the knee, you can do just some light pressure here. You don't want to put a lot of deep pressure on the knee. It's just very light. Like I'm just doing this continuation because even though you don't want to put a lot of direct pressure into the popliteal crease, there is a lot of fascial binding here. Right? I mean, uh, the upper fibers of the gastroc heads attach here and the, the hamstrings come and attach here. So there's a lot of potential for fascial uh, binding here. But you don't want to put a lot of deep pressure here. You just want to come over with a broader surface. And also, too, um, in between the gastroc heads, like, you can come with a broad surface like this. This is pretty safe. If you just come with a broad surface right through the hands, uh, excuse me, through the gastroc head. Because it engages uh, either side of the gastroc enough uh, get some fascial release. I've seen some people come and they'll put their elbow in between uh, the gastroc head and uh, I, I think it would be okay if you did it light enough, uh, but in general I think you're safer coming like this because it's a broader surface. And the meridian itself, here's the Achilles tendon as it attaches to the calcaneus. 
like the Achilles tendon is the tendon that's attached to the gastrocs, correct? Mm -hmm. As it attaches to the calcaneus. So the meridian bears and goes in between the uh, Achilles tendon and right behind the lateral malleolus. So from here, we're going to change and use our thumb just to come right into that groove. And what this does too, it also helps free up the ankle. So you can come right here, and then you could either use the palm of your hand to come into the side of the foot. I do a lot like I'll use this palm of my hand, supported the foot on the other side, and just come in like that. Right out the little toe. Okay. So the pass this time. I'll do this quick. So just below the iliac crest in a straight line in between the sacrum and the greater trochanter of the femur. Speed it up for me. And I'm aiming right for the issue of tuberosity. And then when you get to the hamstring, uh, your application could either be a flat fist through an extended arm or else the broader uh, surface of the forearm to the popliteal crease and not skipping over the popliteal crease but just some light forearm pressure across and then either addressing uh, the gastroc heads in a broader sense like this or else if you want to try just some light pressure just to feel how functional that elbow goes in between the gastroc heads they're very light with this major pressure going across the plane again. And it feels awesome also too, especially if you continue that pressure right across the popliteal crease and then lay into it a little bit more here. That pressure's okay. And then right in between here, right off the side of the foot. Okay. So let's try that one. 